Thank you for your interest in this auction. Uh, what you're looking at is a unique, uh, almost one of a kind piece. Then we're going to have a closer look at him and see what he's about, what he's made of, and some of the condition issues, of course, due to his age. Uh, so this gentleman, I have nicknamed him Woody because he's carved entirely out of wood. Uh, I would say pretty obviously by someone who really knows what he's doing. So this is a folk art piece. It is unsigned as far as I can tell. If there was any signature, I cannot locate it or it could be uh, on the paint somewhere where there's a condition issue and it's no longer apparent. So I'm going to say Woody is unsigned, uh, but he is definitely uh, produced by someone who knows what he's doing, probably carves uh, the Native American cigar store type statues and so forth. So this gentleman here is obviously a minstrel. He is playing something that could be a, a folk art guitar or mandolin or instrument of that sort. Interestingly enough, he's playing it left-handed. And his paint is all original. He is as found. He was purchased through a, an established local auction house. There was no provenance of who might have owned him before or what his age is, but I can tell you right now his age is pretty significant because we're going to have a close look at him. So Woody is carved out of a trunk of wood, and I'm not sure what type of wood it is. He is painted. He has all his original paint. Nothing has been touched. Nothing has been restored. So in my opinion, I think he would be of interest to you if you have a, a museum or a small collection of that sort, in which case you probably know a little bit more about what you're doing conservation-wise than I would personally. I am a dealer. I am not going to try to restore him. I have done some restoration work and know some other people who have, but it's not on a museum class level. So I am selling him as found and I will let you decide how to best restore him. I don't want to do resin fills. I don't want to do any sort of repairs that you would want to undo. So let's have a close look. First of all, let's look at his workmanship. So he's painted. If you look closely, he did have some colored circles all the way around. That looks like it might have been green. That's yellow. That's red and so forth. And a lot of the paint has uh, deteriorated or is chipping. You can have a look here at the center where his tie is, his belt, has some loss in the belt. Here is the guitar. Now he was probably displayed outside a store uh, at some point, maybe even a tobacco store. And so he has some deterioration, especially down in here where you would expect moisture to collect there's some deterioration that might have to be filled because uh, water probably puddled right in there. So his guitar is pretty solid except you see that a crack went across it and then it sort of warped back a little bit. So the piece is there uh, with some fill work and repair that should be looking as, as good as new across there. But he does have age cracks going down as you can see, that comes down through here, runs behind that guitar. You can actually see the guitar is, is not entirely uh, against his body, and I can run that pen down through there. So other than that, his legs are uh, really quite solid. A lot of the original paint and, and varnish is on them. Uh, some of the major repairs you'll want to do are on his feet. So most of this foot is there, as you can see, or that shoe. The toe part has gone missing, so that would have to be rebuilt if you choose to do that. And the other one has a little bit more damage under there, which appears to be moisture related. And it caused, again, the, the front of the foot to come off. So most of this foot is here and fairly solid. You need to rebuild that toe. And this piece, if you want to rebuild that to match the other, uh, you would have to do that as well. So coming back up, let's take a look. And here is where it gets interesting. In his hat, again, he was displayed outside. You can see 
but down in there to a depth of about six inches, uh, it's been hollowed out. Now this could have been a weakness in the original log that they started with. It might even have been a partially hollow log. I don't know. But at this point, that's the condition that's in. Uh, it's not really noticeable from the front. If you take a look, you can see some of the, the original issue. But as you get toward the back, now you can have a look and see that down inside there, you might choose to do a fill in there to conserve it and, and keep it from any further deterioration. So there he is. He has a little uh, deterioration going on on that shoulder, but it's, it's really quite solid in there. Just a lot of the paint has gone missing on the surface. Just a lot of random chipping issues throughout. Uh, his head and face are actually in good shape. He has both of his ears. There's one coming around. Beautiful furrowed brow expression on his face. Eyeglasses hanging down on his nose. He is really concentrating on this performance. There's his other ear. Little paint missing off the back, but other than that, the ear is all there. His chin is there. His mouth, nice strong square chin there. Uh, his, that looks like fingers are missing, but they're not. They're, they're actually carved that way. They're curled under and playing the instrument. So his fingers are there. Those fingers are all there, just the tips of them. There's a little bit, of, like on the fingernail, a little bit of deterioration going on there. Some of the fibers of the wood showing through. So you're looking at some conservation work. Again, most of the issues you're going to see are in the top of the head would need significant conservation and the feet if you wish to restore those back to their original uh, condition. This pedestal he's standing on uh, is actually a new piece of wood. You wouldn't really know it except on close examination. It looks like about a 2 by 10 that someone has remounted him on. It has screws from underneath so he's held fairly sturdily on there uh, and that's why he's standing on his own. No problem. Uh, maybe leaning a little bit. And there he is. That's Woody. Uh, as I said, I'm not attempting restoration work because if you want this for a museum, you will have the professionals that you will engage to do it right, or you may want to display him as is. Again, happy bidding, and this guy is truly unique, and enjoy him. Thank you.